हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एम आई ऑडिबल प्रीति हेलो प्रीति हेलो हेलो प्रीति Am I audible? हेलो चेतली यस मैम यार नोबडी इज रिस्पॉन्सिंग एम आई ऑडिबल इज माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल स्क्रीन स्क्रीन यस मैम ओके ओके थैंक यू okay today we are going to learn about uh, overlays uh, for linking after overlays uh, very soon after overlays there is a overload sorry there is a loaders chapter so load in loaders uh, that becomes as the last chapter for the sixth uh, chapter that is the last unit and uh, once again if you want you can see the syllabus what i have been covered for so far so the syllabus is somewhat like this we have finished the language processors we have studied the assemblers second chapter and the third chapter was macro and macro processors and fourth chapter was compilers and the fifth chapter which i have finished the design of a loader self relocating and the last part is the overlays so these two part are also uh, finished in the previous uh, classes so today we are going to learn about the overlays so what are overlays linking uh, sorry linking for overlays so to for linking for overlays uh, as i have told here also some part of the loader will come in picture you must be known here what is loader loader is something like it takes the executable file which is made ready Uh, by after relocating and after uh, linking the uh, file object module file that object module file is gone into the memory so going into the memory for executing the program that is nothing but loading time or the loader which is done and here loader also will take a uh, load address other than the linking address so here what are the overlays means here what are the how best we can save the memory uh, within a program that is nothing but the overlays so overlays is nothing but so that would be the last uh, topic uh, under the linkers after linker soon after that i will start the loaders functions of loaders general uh, scheme of the loaders absolute loaders relocating loaders direct linking loaders are there dynamic loaders are there and uh, lastly we will study about the design of the direct linking loader of the optimized code so let us understand here what is overlays so overlays is nothing but it is a part of a program let uh, i will not read again here later i will show you 
or less is nothing but the part of a program now part of a program in the sense how part of a program because we have a program if we have a program there will be many segments in the program there uh, there are many segments in the sense there can be some uh, uh, many more uh, functions and to start those many more functions i mean sub functions sub function 1 sub function 2 sub function 3 so uh, there may be so that becomes the different segments or the different sec sec uh, sections of the program and these different sections of the program when they are invoked by either the start of the program like init or uh, uh, after invoking the program by init that becomes as the start of the program you might have studied in your uh, uh, unix subject of i mean whenever any program has to start it has to invoke the init function so saying as the start of the program so it has to invoke that after invoking the init function immediately it invokes whatever the depending on the program whatever the uh, sorry depending on the sequence of the program whatever is the first come uh, first come to run the program or or what whatever is the first come um, uh, first come to uh, run the sub program of a program sub program of a program so that comes uh, that depends on the uh, program how is the, how is the sequence of the program so based on the sequence of the program based on the sequence of the program the init function invokes the functions what is allocated in what is present in the program so depending on the program uh, uh, i mean depending on the program structure so uh, for all this think that overall memory would require some 100k would require some 100k if you think about some program the overall memory may require about some 100k so overlay is that overlay is that wherever is the means overlay is that uh, wherever it has to make some common memory for loading uh, for loaders of the program wherever it has to make some common memory so that common memory uh, it uh, common memory can be utilized and can be reduced in during the runtime of the program so where uh, suppose in uh, among the 100 instead of 100k which was required by some program which was required by some program 100k of memory which was required by um, some uh, program so that instead of 100k it may utilize very minimum amount of memory so this is what it is called as the overlay and overlay is a part of a program that has the same load origin that has the same load origin now here same load origin in the sense same load origin in the sense which utilizes the same amount of memory uh, by the different sections of the program or by the different part of the program overlay is a part of a program that has the same load origin as some other parts of the program as some other parts of the program suppose function a requires something like uh, something like uh, 50k and function b requires something like uh, assume that 35k and uh, function c require something like 45k so whatever the amount of memory it is going to use and to run all of these memory anyhow in it is the start it has to invoke it has to invoke or it has to begin the program by in it it has to begin the program by start now suppose in our c program how do we start the c program we have we will start the c program by saying yes Uh, by saying as yes, the hash include stdio.h and soon after that after including such a file we just begin by the program by the main function so main function invokes the rest of the lines which are present in the function which are sorry which are present in the program so main is required main is required or main is the root something like a root and main is something like which is utilized by all the rest of the program which is utilized by all the rest of the program yes shakshi kotavare has left hmm? don't leave the class hmm? uh, have you all done the admissions have you all done the admissions mukund 
Are you there in the class? Sonia? Sonali? Kajal? Ahilya? Rutuja, Shivani? Yes, are you there in the class? Hello? All of you, have you finished the admissions? Manashri? Manashri. Manashri. Pooja. Gaurav. Unkar, am I audible? जी मैडम सुन पा रहे हैं हम आपको हाँ एडमिशन्स हो गया आपका नहीं मेरा नहीं हुआ अभी तक क्यों नहीं मैं बिना वजूद के very few have done forty thousand pay नहीं करना चाहता कॉलेज को किसी भी मोड़ पे दान कर सकता हूँ लेकिन forty thousand pay नहीं करूँगा I'm not the same. No, madam, I didn't have admission yet. Hello? Mm-hmm. Okay, you talk to me after the class. Hmm? Call me, yeah? Unkar? Of course, madam. I will do it. Yes. Class is finished. Please talk about it. Very few have done the admissions. Uh, complete your admission process. If any case, actually, I got the information. You can report to uh, some senior faculty like uh, Jada ma'am or Richudi ma'am. So you can discuss your problems. Uh, as I have seek permission from ma'am also, you can directly call. But you have to do the admissions, online admissions. You have to finish the process. Is that clear? If you have any problem, please call me. And also, if, uh, if you don't feel like, uh, I mean, calling me also, you can, uh, uh, I mean, you can also call to Jada ma'am. So you can share uh, your uh, views about uh, admissions. But you have to finish the admission process. Then only you are said as you are admitted to TE, hmm? third year. You have to finish, no? Okay, let's get back to our class. Are you understanding here? Overlays is nothing but overlay is a part of a program. Overlay is a part of a program, or overlay is a something like has the same load origin, which has the same load origin, uh, same load origin in this sense, which which is use, uh, using the same uh, utilization of the memory. Uh, as some part of, uh, as some other part of the program overlays are used are reduced to or reduce the main memory requirements of the program so there will uh, there are some overlay designed structure and uh, these uh, separate overlay designed structure can be uh, can be um, i mean they can be uh, uh, um, designed as the overlays uh, structured or uh, the linker, I mean, uh, linker, the resulting overlay structure is converted to the linker through the linker control command. So I will just show you how the overlay will be there. Just look into this uh, slide, what I am uh, displaying the slide. Uh, I mean, the what, what is overlay? Actually, such programs, overlay programs is a permanent resident positions. 
and they are called as such a root like in it is there in it uh, in it doesn't uh, in it is already uh, um, present in the root in it is a section of a program or in it is a part of a program that is required by everybody everybody in the sense that is required by uh, every part of the um, every part of the program in it and uh, say for example read uh, like scan f and print f so uh, i o statement such i o statements are required by every uh, are required uh, by every such uh, functions are required by everybody everybody in the sense every different sections or every different uh, other part of the sections so in it and uh, in it and uh, print and uh, read these are the most frequently used so what we shall do overly in the sense we shall just keep them uh, which can be called as uh, again and again so we shall keep them as the separate memory location or uh, we shall keep or we shall put or we shall load it into an uh, load it to an root only why we shall uh, load it in, into an root why because they are called or they are required every time without them we cannot run the program like read and into uh, sorry read and print also and without the init also so they are uh, they themselves are located in the root root sections so every time every uh, if every program uh, uses like init read um, init in the sense is think that like main memory uh, main uh, main function only so every time every uh, programs require such things so what is the overlay design so such a structured already they are kept in the root so whatever the memory utilizations will be done as a separately so we shall not use as a separately we shall utilize them by the uh, root only we shall utilize them by the root only so by this it reduces some sort of memory utilization during the execution time so that is what it is called as the overlay means here what we should, what we have understood means some part of the program may be executed only briefly only briefly not all uh, during uh, why because not all in the sense say for example in the program we have some functions like a b c a b c so in a b c assume that it is invoking only function a to run the function a anyhow we require the main function anyhow we require the read and print so anyhow we require such things so what is going to run every time assume that again the again that the program contains or program holds some 100k 100k overall program holds some 100k because there are a b c functions and because there are there is a init uh, init and that takes some part of memory and uh, read takes some part of memory as in that 15k and uh, some uh, uh, load uh, not only read uh, uh, some uh, print takes some 10k of memory so uh, anyhow the default cases anyhow they have to run always so let us put them as a separate overlay and the uh, program which is running some time sorry the functions which is running some time let us put them in the uh, separate overlays separate overlays by this what is invoked assume that among that function a only is invoked at the first run so by, by this what as i said in it is taking some 10k and uh, uh, read is taking some 15k and print is taking some 10k and function a is taking some uh 25k 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 with this overall 100k amount of memory is utilized but instead of running overall 100k of amount of memory what we are doing assume that at the first run only function a is running so what we need to do here uh, what we need to do in the sense the same overload sorry the same load origins anyhow the init read print these are required so let us put them in the same 
same uh, overload origins and so that they will take every time the same amount of memory same amount of memory in the sense like 10 15 and 10 how much it became 25 25 plus now at the first run what is running the function a is running 25 plus 25 so overall 50k only it used uh, 50k only is utilized so this overlay designed structure of such loaders is very important so overlay design is very important why because for the so called program which it has to suppose to take 100k of memory it is only taking 50k of memory then it is running then it is running so such overlay designed structured of the programs or linker and this program you know how it is controlled in the sense such overlays are controlled by the ms dos linker co control commands so how could be the ms dos linker control commands in the sense it makes it add up by because such overlays structured programs are conveyed or its results means the program results are conveyed to the linker the uh, means how they are con conveyed to the linker in the sense by uh, control command by specifying the linker as the control command because the control command makes all the linking of the uh, sub different subsections of the program so let uh, let me show you the program by saying as yes, uh, example so that you can understand how is the overlays of the program so the overlays of the program just i uh, have made here from the textbook of your dhamdre so assume that now overlay is a part of a program that has the same load origin as some other parts of the program uh, same load origin in the sense same load origin in the sense assume that it is utilizing the same amount of memory to instead of 100k it is taking some 50k it is taking some assume that so that is how you can understand by using uh, by the example itself only just i will show using the example so such overlay structured programs can execute uh, in a very short uh, amount of memory so we uh, i'll just show the example uh, you you need to understand uh, such uh, who are uh, overlay structured no this those overlay structured are always the resident of the root and the set of overlays that could be loaded in a memory whenever they are needed means they can be loaded very separately execution of an overlay structure proceeds to the start of the root now assume that this is a program now assume that this is a program now here to understand this program consider the program with these uh, sections how many sections are there uh, as in the one two three four five and six in it is one section and read is also another section and this is one program assume that this is whole is the one program in a program we have a in it consider this program in a program we have a in it uh, and uh, named as different uh, sections of the program are named as init is one section, read is one section, and uh, uh, trans is one section, and uh, another trans is another section, and this transaction is another section. So, assume that instead of transaction, I'm just naming here as uh, sub function one or sub function a, sub function b, sub function c. So overall this function, sorry, overall this program, overall this program would take 65K. The overlays would reduce to run in 40K. That is our aim, assume that, not our aim. Uh, overlay structured design, overlay structured design. Overall this fun uh, program is taking, is taking 65K to run this program or to execute this program in memory the loader will take a about 65k the loader will how much it is taking 65k how much it is taking 65k and what are the different uh, uh, sections or what are the different part of the program means 
the different part of the program is init and another part of the program is read and another part of the program is sub function a and another part of the program is sub function b what is named for sub function b in this is trans and another uh, sub function program is named as c and this is how finally uh, finally invokes uh, uh, we get at the result by invoking the write by invoking the write means as in that by invoking the print to see the results of any of these invocations either sub function a either sub function b or either sub function c to run any of uh, to execute any of the functions in this program in this program it has to invoke first init like main then it has to read the variables it has to read the variables so depending on the sequence of the program maybe maybe it has to execute a maybe it has to execute a so maybe it has to execute a and to run a to run a anyhow it has to write it has to print finally so what shall we do in overlay structured in look into here in overlay structured anyhow 0 to uh, in it how much uh, part of the program it is taking in it, in it to run itself it is taking a part of the memory as 10k it is taking as 10k and read as usual it is taking as 15k read as usual it is taking as 15k and if you observe here print if you observe here write it is taking as about 5k it is taking as about 5k Re, uh, uh, it is taking as about 5k to uh, run as about 5k to run as about 5k here let it take about 5k now among this uh, how much is taken by uh, function a that is transaction a the transaction a is taking as around the it is running between 35 up to 35k it is running up to 35k and the transaction b is taking of about 50k and transaction uh, c is taking of about 60k transaction c is taking of about 60k from here to here maybe from here to here what is the uh, uh, time uh, sorry what is the memory it is utilizing uh, i mean uh, uh, from 15 to 35 15 to 35 how much amount of memory it is getting means uh, here uh, from 15 to 35 how much amount of memory it is getting means uh, plus uh, 10 and um, 25 like how much amount of for function a 15 to 35 it is taking around something like that's what here it is written something like around 20k who is taking 20k 20k is taken by the uh transaction a 20k is taken by the transaction k now if you observe here b if you observe for the uh, transaction b it is utilizing of around how much it is utilizing of around 15k the transaction b is utilizing of around 15k okay so from 15 to uh, to have 50, uh, more uh, after 20k so five amount of memory is increased here so b is take, taking off around 15k and if you observe here the c is taking around of 10k c is taking off around 10k so from um, uh, from 20 to uh, tw another 10 if you increase it becomes as 30k so it it is taking overall of around uh, of uh, uh, overall of uh, c is taking overall of around 20k c is taking uh, sorry 10k extra only it is utilizing only 10k utilization 
C is utilizing only 10k, and uh, B is utilizing B is utilizing around uh, 15k. B is utilizing of around 15k. That's what it is see here. Till here it is 20, 20k, and till here it is around 30k. And uh, B is taking around uh, 15k. That's what five amount of memory is utilized here. Still five amount. So that is for 15k. Overall amount is uh, from here to here. It is around 15k. And for A, it is taking of around. Um, uh, for A, it is taking of around 20k. It has to take of around 20k. So from here to here, overall it is. 20 uh, 20k this is 15k and this is 10k from here to here it is 10k and here to here 15k from here to here it is 10k so overall utilization if you observe so these are kept as the separate overlay design these are kept as separate or because we do not know how much amount uh, how much amount of uh, Uh, because it can be fluctuations between the functions of a sub program but it is fixed that in it is taking always in it is taking always assume that 10k amount of memory and read is always taking of around you know, 5k of uh, amount of memory and if you observe here print write is taking of around 5k amount of memory that's what these three are very compulsory functions and these very compulsory functions uh, to compulsory functions they are kept as uh, as the separate overlays uh, as the separate overlay uh, now here if you observe this uh, function so this program as in it performs some initializations as in it performs some initialization and passes the control to the read and reads uh, what it does it reads one set of the data and invokes one of the function and invokes one of the function either function a function b or function c depending on the values of the data depending on the values of the data and print is called and this print uh, call and this print is called to print the results of the invoked function so uh, invoked function so here function a b and c function a b in the sense transaction a b and c are mutually exclusive are mutually exclusive and they can be made into <clears throat> and they can are mutually exclusive because uh, they can be uh, any one function can be run therefore they are made as the separate overlays see here a is made as separate overlay b is made as separate overlay and c is also made as a separate separate overlay separate overlays in this program all were in the assume that to total program was taking up around 65k of amount of memory now here we have made that into overall if you observe overall what is the highest amount of memory in this um, overlay the highest amount of memory is 40k the highest amount of memory is 40k now either a function a b c means transaction a b c are mutually exclusive therefore what we had made we had made into a separate overlays for them now here read and print or read and write read and write are put into the root of the program this read and write are put into the root of the program because they are required compulsorily since they are needed for each set of the data read and write or, or each set of the data in the sense either function a either function b or either function c so that's what read and write or read and write are put into the same are put into the root of the function and similarly for simplicity what we shall do we shall put the init also in a root we shall put the init also in a root that's what they are coming from the root as it comes through the root after init it has to read and it has to 
right so after read what it will do the that it will write the result how i have read the sequence of the program in it performs some initialization and passes the control to read and read uh, reads one set of any one set of the data and invokes uh, any one of the function respectively depending on the values of the data given to it given to the program and print prints anyhow print is taking how much amount of memory it is taking only five amount of memory therefore what we have done what is compulsory here compulsory is here or default case is here that the init default case is that read and write read and write are nothing but are put into one root of the program are put into one root of the program because they are needed for each set of the data and and what uh, before them what shall we do in it also we shall put into the root though it could be made into the though it could be made into an overlay by itself so here <clears throat> this is what the proposed structure of the overlay so here in proposed structure of the overlay it can execute only in 40k it can executes only in 40k bytes though it was uh, though it has the total size though it has the total size in the sense though the program has the total size of 65k though the program has the total size instead of 65k it is executing in 40k either it if it invokes transaction a or either if it invokes transaction b if it invokes transaction b it will execute only in only in 35k if it invokes transaction c means it executes only in 30k this is how the overlay structure and such overlay structure and such overlay structures are very important in uh, and such overlays are performed by the assemblers only are so are performed by the assembler designs after a two passes because after a two passes what you get you will be getting only the object module and this object module has to be linked has to be linked so the linker whatever the resulting of this overlay whatever the resulting of this overlay that resulting of the overlay is linked by the linker how it is linked by the linker means it will get a through the control command through the control command how it is link in it plus read plus write int link int what is in the same root in the same root is one uh, one overlay is load same load origin is in it read write these are the same origin Uh, same load origins the same load origins are kept in the root are kept in the root and this information such a resulting informations or such a resulting overlays structured are conveyed to the linker by a link command now the link command what it gives it what it accepts we can by link init read plus uh, plus what it can invoke it may invoke any of these functions or any of these transactions by saying as yes, um, function a or by saying as yes, function b or by saying as yes, function c whatever is um, uh, given in the bracket these are the um, uh, these are the object modules these are the object modules of any of the um, any of the programs and object modules within a uh, whatever i have given in the brackets this becomes one overlay this becomes one overlay of the program these are one overlay of the program and these are the other overlay of the program and these one overlay of the programs are taking the same load origin what they are taking the same load origin now who are the one overlay programs whatever is present in the bracket these are the one overlay of the program who are the one overlay of the program transaction a transaction b and transaction c these are the one overlay of the of the program and these may take the uh, uh, these may take the other 
load origin what is the other load origin of the same program the other load origin of the same program is init plus read plus write these are in the same root then this same root is taking the same is taking the same load origin either transaction a is also taking init read and write transaction b is also taking init read write transaction c is also taking init read write apart from this it generates because it is loading into the memory it generates an executable file plus or it has to link all the library files with this it links this is how the linking command this is how the linking command for overlays for overlays if there are no overlays means here it would be no bracket simply directly the program no bracket not directly the program uh, i to take init read write executable file and library files or it would uh, call without uh, subsections or without the uh, uh, sub parts without these parts init is also a part of a program read is also a part of a program write is also a part of a program so overall it may it would have called here the program name of the object module and executable file plus the executable file plus all the library files whatever it is going to be used in this program so in in this way it would have been linked in this way it would have been linked so linking is very important linking is very important so Uh, some linkers are very important so that as in already uh, the pro, uh, already some part of the program which has to be rooted in the root you know, some sections of the program it has to be rooted into the root so that they are always rooted and uh, uh, such overlays or such a designed structure always will follow the same always will follow the same and with this it reduces the amount of memory what it reduces it reduces the amount of memory now here uh, by overlays you have come to know it reduces the amount of memory what it does it reduces the amount of memory see here how it reduces the amount of memory instead of 60 sorry instead of 65k of amount of memory program was taking instead of that it will take now 40k to the maximum it is taking only the 40k for and that to for a function a that to for the transaction a it is taking 40k if it was invoked function function b instead of 65k it is only running in 35k if it would have, if it would have invoked function c it would have taken only the 30k it would have taken only the 30k that is uh, in it is compulsory they are in the root only and read and write they are also in the root only so uh, till here 10k 15k till here till here 15k and uh, from here it was taking uh, till here it is Uh, from here to here it is 30k so transaction c would have taken only around 30k instead of 65k so in this way uh, overlay structures are very important the overlay structure of any object program is specified in the linker command so such overlay structure are very important for a assembler to be designed so without the overlays uh, the memory utilization would be very lengthy and always would be very busy and always this uh, would uh, result in a very slow down of the program during the execution time so whatever the overlays and designs are there or whatever uh, the result structures of the overlays are there this is given to the linker and linker using the command it links them in this way in this way such overlays in um, means what is um, A required a required is in it read write and whatever is invoked uh, based on the or sequence of the program so that is being utilized with the executable file and all the library linkable files so with this it loads uh, i mean linker will link in this way and uh, with this and binary file will be loaded into the memory
now we shall see how is the loader now what is a loader now to understand the loader it is very important what is getting the loader what is getting the loader <coughs> a loader is getting an executable file and in loader also who can be an absolute file and who can be non absolute files that is very important in loader how a loader also can be an absolute uh, absolute uh, when we can call for a loader an absolute loader that is also very important loader is a program which accepts the object program which accepts the object program now here the object program is nothing but your binary program so which checks the i mean here it is a spelling mistake which checks and prepares these programs for execution by the computer uh, for the any uh, for the execution of the program apart from this loader what a, what is the loader duty now what a loader is getting a loader is getting an binary program which is an executable file so but still what a loader has to do with this a loader allocates the space in the memory for the program allocation and it also resolves some of the symbolic uh, references between the object program between the object program and also it adjust all the addresses now how many addresses so far we have come to know we have come to know the addresses uh, we have come to know the addresses the translated addresses and the linked addresses the linked addresses are those addresses which are generated by the linker and the translated addresses are the those addresses which are generated by different translators like uh, the translated by the compiler and the assemblers so anyhow we finally will be having the address which is uh, translated by the assembler so that translated address plus the linker address we have plus the linker address if it is not changing the linker address and the translated address if they are not getting changed that time we call it as the absolute loader if they are getting changed they are not called as the absolute loader and what the loader will do it will adjust all such addresses depending on the locations such address constants and corresponds to the located allocated space means it will also check the when we had called the relocation we had called the relocation during the i mean uh, whatever the address which was generated by the translator which was generated by that was called as the translated address and the linked address was the load time address which was i mean uh, where it was changed from 500 to 900 such example we have seen so the such uh, address which was changed by the linker which was called as the which was called as the relocation or relocatable address physically place the ma machine instruction and data into the memory all the machine instructions which were placed into the memory are called during this period we call it as the <coughs> loading assume that here is a uh, program a and b which are to be uh, loaded into the by the loader and we have here the dif uh, different uh, databases that different databases are different tables either it can be symbol table or it can be some machine uh, i mean machine instruction table so different databases is to, it look into them and it adjust all the all the dependent locations then it makes it ready for running of the program <clears throat> and we uh, we have so many different loaders before going so many different loaders it's very important for us to understand it is very important for us to understand hello ma'am hello ha hello madam i mean madam ko theek hai sir ne excel sheet share kiya tha doctor logon ka inquiry ha madam main class le rahi thi ma'am aaj hi dekhi jab main class le rahi thi aaj nahi madam wo char din se aapke saath share kiya hai aap aur madam aap dono bhi nahi bhar rahe wo bore madam daat rahe acha acha unko dena hai wo inform ab bhi bharo मैम अभी क्लास चल रहा मैडम मैं इसलिए आज सुबह देखी बोलकर मैं उनको मैसेज भी डाली आई विल डू आफ्टर क्लास बोलकर नहीं आज कंप्लीट करो मैडम ये घंटे में हां हां 12 बजे हां तो तो हा, ट्रू है मैम 12 बजे क्लास हो जाता मैम 12 बजे के बाद मैं भरूंगी बोलकर मैं थिगड़े सर को मैसेज भी मेल भेजी मैडम 
उसको ज्यादा टाइम नहीं लगता है मैडम इतना भरने के लिए <laughs> हाँ मैडम मैं देखी नहीं मैंने मिल लो उसके लेक्चर से बच्चों को कुछ तो टास्क दो ठीक है और भर के दो ठीक है अभी करूँगा मैं अभी देखी थी उनका मेल कल आया था मैम उनका ओके Yes, sorry for interruption. I'll just be within the five uh, five minutes. I'll come back to you. Don't go away. हेलो मैम भर दिया मैम वो मुझे लगा बहुत इन सारे इन्फॉर्मेशन देना है बोलकर मैं बोली थी क्लास के बाद ठीक है ठीक है यस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आर यू देर यस मैडम ओके सॉरी फॉर द डिस्टरबेंस
हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम हाँ हाकिन रि मैम अद्र इवे सर कल अद्सटीन इयर्स हाकिन रि मैम इवे कल हाँ रि मैम जाधव मैम फोन इल रि मैम क्लास अद्क हाकिन ना ऐनो भाई डेट अदेनो तक हाकिन रि मैम कल्सन रि आवे कल हाँ रि Yes, are you there, dear students? Yeah, thank you for being here. Sorry for the interruption. As I had very urgently to reply to HOD ma'am's call and uh, even Jado ma'am's call. So, are you there? So, what I was saying, I was saying about. The uh, overlays I have finished, and uh, soon after overlay, as I said in the last class, that I will cover the loaders. Uh, not cover that I will start up the loaders because it is linked with that. How the loader now? What kind of file it is taking? It is taking and making it ready for executing the file. It is taking the binary program file and it is making it ready for the program to execute. now what is a loader in a loader we have to learn about a kind that is a absolute loader 
uh, what is an absolute loader an absolute uh, loader when we can call it it does not perform any relocation why because an absolute loader while loading a program into the memory uh, it uses a limited uh, to only those program that have load the origin and even the linked origin or the self relocating it will not take in uh, mind absolute loaders are those loader which does not take or which does not perform the relocations means uh, it will have some e uh, same uh, address what is the translated address the same translated address to the linked address so such linked address are the self relocating address that can be loaded directly into the memory and during that period or that type of um, same address uh, address which are not getting changed those are called as the uh, those are called as the absolute loaders uh, and you may be knowing such absolute loaders why they are uh, required uh, such absolute loader um, are very important sometimes uh, absolute loader because it loads a binary program into the memory for execution and uh, we assume such a binary program is stored directly in a file that contains uh, that contains uh, the uh, uh, header record and that also contains the sequence of the binary image uh, records uh, containing the program code and each binary image uh, record contains a part of the program's code in the form of the sequence of the bytes uh, the load program the load addresses of the apps, i mean of the uh, absolute loaders of the first byte address so uh, they they are having the same address anyhow they are having the same address uh, one thing we have to note here in absolute loaders notes the load origin also and also the length what because this we have discussed uh, whenever it is uh, having a translated load address now when it is going to be relocated by the linker by the linker means uh, suppose we have two sub programs so those two sub programs are to be linked in the sense uh, now here only in the example uh, suppose we have a two sub programs so those two sub programs whatever the load address uh, or the translated address is of a program a suppose 500 and its prog uh, overall program uh, length is of 42k assume that 42k so during the relocating I mean, during the relocating, assume that this also would start at some different address, and this also would start at some different address, the linker address, the linked address. The linked address here it can be of here it can be of uh, for the program it can be of nine hundred. So at the same time, the link address for this uh, the so, I mean the sub program B also can be at nine forty two. So in this way, they can be linked. In this way, they will be linked and they will be loading to the um, program. So such uh, uh, such linked address are very important so that they can uh, they can be utilized while linking a program. So they can they can be appropriately adjusted to the loader. <clears throat> now here we one thing also we need to understand who are such a relocating addresses sorry loaders and who are the bootstrap loaders. The bootstrap loaders are those loaders during uh, the startup of the program. The startup of the program also needs some address. The first startup of the program by the operating system is called as the bootstrap loaders. The operating system has to load has to be loaded into the uh, actually what ha what does it happens first of all here the operating system itself has to be loaded into the memory. Has to be loaded into the memory first. The whole operating system. Think here, something like Unix operating system. The root, um, uh, the heart of the Unix. Assume that uh, is a kernel, and uh, the root. After a root, a different so many different files we have. So full this root uh, of the operating system has to be loaded into the memory. So when the power you make it as on. So when you make it as on means power in the sense when you put the switch on power when you put the switch on power it has to boot itself it involves into the loading of the several program into the memory 
it uh, it looks into whether my mouse is connected or not whether my all the hardware parts are uh, are there at their place or not if anything is missing it gives a message so it has to operating system whole operating system has to be loaded into the memory so because it has to check itself means the operating system has to be checked itself so that it how does it checks itself it checks itself so that it loads everything everything into the memory because the computer memory does not contain any program the computer memory does not contain any program or data at the uh, at this moment so what uh, even not uh, i mean even not an absolute loader also i mean absolute loader in the sense the link loader and the uh, translated loader uh, the i mean which are not changed so if they have the same amount of the address so that time we call it as the absolute loader so the task of checking itself the cha- the task of checking itself in the sense the operating system has to check itself all the programs all the because it has got so many programs hardware programs it has all the device programs it has it has all means uh, all the uh, uh, all the module uh, even the hardware module even the software module programs everything it has to check so it has to load it into the memory so d- for this first time running of the program we call it as the bootstrap loader at this time it is called as the bootstrap loader and this bootstrap loader is a very tiny program that can fit in into a single record on a floppy disk also nowadays nobody is using floppy disk and even on the hard disk also so <clears throat> what here the absolute loader what is the function of here the absolute loader the absolute loader what it does loads a program and passes the control to it for execution for execution so the bootstrap loader exploits um, all the operations in it and the computer is configured such that when it uh, when its power is switched on uh, it's all the hardware loads uh, loads into a separate record from a separate record on a hard disk and that contains the bootstrap loader and transfers all the control to it for the execution so when the bootstrap loader contains all the control means it loads a, a more capable loader into the memory and passes the control to this so such or uh, this type of loaders loads the all the initial sets of the components of the operating system and loads more component on the complete uh, i mean loads more component on rest of the operating system and this has to be loaded into the memory everything has to be loaded into the memory actually to run the program so such a schema is called as the i mean bootstrap uh, loader because of the such uh, because of the such uh, uh, i mean loading of all the programs into the memory so first programs which are running on the, because Uh, to start a computer you no know, when uh, suppose your mouse is not connected assume that na suppose you are um, uh, if you are using the laptop uh, if your uh, uh, i mean keypad itself is not working uh, so for keypad not working it may not uh, display but what is the main control part which uh, where you are uh, where you are uh, using it as the control where you are using it as the control of the computer so the operating system first it loads all the hardware so the important part it has to run into the memory for execution of the for main running of the program so it will load into the memory so such loading into the memory we call it as the bootstrap loader uh, so not only we have the bootstrap loader we have the Mm, compile and go adv- uh, go loader also we have absolute loader also in general how a loader will be how a loader will be what are the advantages of the loader as i said it reassembles it adjust all the uh, uh, relocating addresses and uh, it also look into the executable file whether it is ready or not so that it fits into the memory so there are so many uh, i mean uh, pros and uh, cons of the loaders also so that the main part of the loader is that it brings the program into the memory 
it brings the program into the which kind of program it brings into the memory it brings the binary program into the memory and generate an executable file for execution so the loader is assumed to be a smaller than the assembler so that more memory is available to the user and it, uh, here you can see the second uh, sentence is it it can reassembly is no longer necessary to run the program at a later date if all the source program translates uh, translates sorry if all the source program translators produce the computable object program then it checks the uh, the format and use the computable linking conventions also everything may because here before loading linker is there before loading what is there linker it links all the uh, executable files it means it links all the like uh, say for example any library file is there any program a program b is there it links them it puts them together and if there is a overlay of the loader also it puts them together and link it by the linker and gives uh, the resultant of the linker is getting nothing but is the loader the resultant of the linker is nothing but the loader so that it loads into the memory now here we have what the program uh, one and program how does it makes ready now here is a part of the memory here is a part of the memory how the object program is ready for uh, execution it comes uh, the object program uh, from the loader uh, here why i don't know the author is still calling as the object program only now here it's not an object program here it will be the binary program but in overall we cannot call it as binary program because the same binary program is also nothing but an object program so the same object program which is ready for execution of the program by the loader which is a general schema of the uh, loader this is nothing but a general schema of the loader so the simplest way of the absolute loader which fits into the general model is called as an absolute loader and in this scheme the assembler output uh, we know that it's a machine language translation of the source program in almost the same form as in the assembler and go and accepts assembler and go uh, sorry uh, assemble and go scheme ac except that uh, that the data which is punched on the card instead of being placed directly into the memory the loader is in turn simply accepts the machine language text and places it into the core location prescribed by the uh, if i read this such a um, such a text you may not understand here the here he mean to talk about the uh, translated address and the linked address the absolute loader are very simple to implement also so such if there are no changes in the addresses uh, i mean fixed addresses you are called as here the absolute loaders and uh, what are the here main disadvantages let us know about the main the first the programmer must to satisfy the assembler that the address in the core where the program is to be loaded and further if there are multiple sub routines in the program the programmer must remember the address of that is very 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 important for a programmer because anyhow the uh, the program which is getting going to be loaded into the memory uh, which is going to be loaded into the memory because here uh, he, here totally the linker is not performing anything here uh, without the linker we are uh, doing uh, the uh, loading into the from the translator address to the loader only uh, so here the program is getting into the loader so here it is very important that what is the translated address so that it can uh, so that it can be remembered and it should put into the memory so at that location only it has to run so that could be the uh, i mean that could be the drawback of the absolute loaders so must be very careful to assign uh, such two subroutines addresses also we need to remember if there are two subroutines in the program <clears throat> so this example i would explain in the next class
so if there are two subroutines in the program how a programmer uh, to make it as an absolute loader how he has how he will load into the main memory so that i will take in the uh, next coming class so that uh, it it would be very better for you to understand so together i may take the text uh, test on uh, mcqs on the um, on the linker also because soon after finishing the linker i have gone to the loader because this should be the touch this should be the connectivity between the linker and the loader so that's the reason i did not made here uh, a break of taking a test so you need to understand both the differences so i will take together the mcqs test at finishing on finishing the loader is that clear onkar we have uh, so many kinds of loaders here so one one kind i'll be explaining but here as per your book uh, yeah, we need to know only the relocatable loaders uh, relocatable loaders anyhow we have seen so relocatable loaders are not the fixed loaders which we have seen in the uh, previous uh, linker also in the linker chapter so they themselves are called as the relocatable uh, loaders and um, here very important is that i should explain you about compile and go and even i should explain you about the very important is that uh, how with the example the absolute loaders it becomes so these two concepts i'll be taking because uh, for a loader you just see what are the things you need to learn in a loader you need to learn uh, what are the functions of a loader uh, functions we have just seen Uh, it has to adjust all the absolute loader or the uh, linker loader it has to adjust its and we should know all about the absolute loader and relocatable loader and it is very important how and when it is called as the direct linking loader and the dynamic loading and uh, the design of course for everything uh, if, either if it is assembler design uh, sorry either if it is any part of the system software uh we need to know how is the design part so here also we need to know how is the design part of a loader also uh design of a direct linking loader of a optimized code so that we need to know so these are the things which we need to know about any doubts yes please do the admissions as i am getting call regarding the admissions also uh Yes. Hello. Any doubts? Hello. Hello. Hello, Ankar. Are you there? Ji, madam. Any doubt? Ji, nahi. Dekh raha. Nahi. Hmm. Or less, to samaj me aaya. Have you understood today's concept on or less? Tick tock. Okay. soon after or less i have begin the loaders then for a loaders jaane kab kho gaya tune se dekha ke kuch ho gaya hello man kuch ho gaya kuch ho gaya mute yourself hello don't post your attendances i want to talk regarding 
the admissions hello one is there yes ma'am have you done admission no ma'am why hello two three present ma'am four present ma'am four five present ma'am six present seven silent ma'am ha eight present Nine, nine present, ma'am. Ten, present. Eleven, present, ma'am. Twelve, present, ma'am. Thirteen, present, ma'am. Thirteen, fourteen, present, fourteen, fifteen, present, sixteen. Seventeen. Present, ma'am. Eighteen. Present, ma'am. Nineteen. Present. Twenty. Twenty-one. Present, ma'am. Twenty-two. Present, ma'am. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Present. Twenty-five. Twenty-five present, ma'am. Twenty-six. Present, ma'am. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven present, ma'am. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight present, ma'am. Twenty-nine. Yes, ma'am. Thirty. Present, ma'am. Yeah, I am coming. Wait. Thirty-one, present, ma'am. Thirty-two, present, ma'am. Thirty-three, present, ma'am. Thirty-four, present, ma'am. Don't allow your attention. Present, ma'am. Shout like that. Please be attentive. Do not misuse. Do not sing. Do not allow any other to speak. that shows uh, you are not listening to the class simply you keep hmm? 27 somebody will keep on 27 present ma'am hmm? 28 present ma'am 29 present ma'am 30 present ma'am 31 present ma'am 32 present ma'am 33 present ma'am 34 present ma'am 35 present ma'am 36 present ma'am 37 Okay. Here I want to tell something. Twenty eight present, ma'am. Okay, I am still up to twenty nine. I just want to tell here, maintain decency. Okay, don't sing, don't mute yourself. If you have any doubt, please ask very, I mean, genuinely. Don't shout, scream. Okay. Thirty. Yes, ma'am. Thirty one. Thirty-two. Yes, ma'am. Thirty-one. Present, ma'am. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Present, ma'am. Thirty-four. Present. Thirty-five. Present, ma'am. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Present, ma'am. Thirty-seven. Present, ma'am. Thirty-eight. Present, ma'am. Thirty-nine. Forty, forty present, ma'am. Okay. Forty-one present, ma'am. Forty-two present. 
Present, ma'am. Fifty. Present, ma'am. Fifty-one. Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Huh. Fifty-one. Present. Huh. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Present. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Present, ma'am. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Present. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Present, ma'am. Fifty-nine. Fifty-eight. Present, ma'am. Hmm. Fifty-eight. Who is fifty-eight? Mukunda. No, ma'am. Um, Prashant. Yes. Fifty-nine is Mukunda. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, Mukund, you Haan. told I have asked you something. You told you will tell yes. After the class, yeah, you please send. Huh? You said yes. You will send the requirements. Huh? Yes, ma'am. I will send you. When? After lecture. Hmm. आज भेजेंगे आपको? What? मैंने आपको जो भी टेक्स्ट किया था आप उसका रिप्लाई तो किए लेकिन उसका आंसर नहीं मिला मुझे हाँ मैम अभी देता हूँ मैं लेक्चर के बाद ओके okay. हाँ. प्रेजेंट मैम प्रेजेंट मैम प्रेजेंट मैम प्रेजेंट मैम प्रेजेंट सेवन Present. Sixty-eight. Present. Sixty-nine. Present. Seventy. Present. Okay. Two sixteen. I'm repeating. Wait, wait. Two sixteen, twenty, twenty-three, thirty-one, thirty-nine, forty-four, forty-eight, fifty-three, fifty-seven, fifty-nine, sixty-two. Sixty-five was present, but while taking attendance, not replied. I think on car. Hmm. So these are the absentees. Ma'am, hello, ma'am. Sixteen present. Okay, next. Thirty-one. Twenty present, ma'am. Hmm. Next. Forty-one present, ma'am. Hmm. At the end, you people are coming. Hmm. Ma'am, fifty-three present. Ma'am, row number two present. Thirty-three. Ma'am, fifty-five. Ah, marked. Hmm. कहा गए थे आप हम्म एंड में आ रहे हम्म ठीक है ऐसा मत करो दूसरे क्लास को मैं हूँ मैं दे रही हूँ लेकिन दूसरे लोग शॉर्टेज ऑफ अटेंडेंस देते हैं दे रहे हैं मुझे रिजल्ट्स हम्म डोंट डू लाइक दिस ओके थैंक यू ऑल टुमारो वी शेल सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लोडर्स एंड इन डिटेल आई बी टेलिंग अबाउट लोडर फंक्शन एवरीथिंग Thank you.